Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. This is part of a blog hop as we celebrate the latest release by Simon Says Stamp and I'm sharing a card for teachers which is perfect to mass produce. Now if you need a stamp set that is perfect for this kind of occasion then this is a lovely little stamp set. It comes with many many sentiments as well as a couple of little apples. There are matching dies available as well, however I'm not going to use them. I'm starting by doing the stamping. First I'm going to stamp the big teacher word and this is jelly bean. Then I'm going to stamp the big A+, and uh, this time I'm using sunshine. All the inks that I'm working with today are by Simon's stamp and I'm using the mini ink cubes. I think I got those as a set in a previous Simon's stamp card kit. I'm also going to use the hot lips ink pad and I'm going to stamp the little apple at the beginning before the word teacher and since I'm doing all the stamping now I'm also going to do some Versamark stamping and uh, this time I'm going with a saying on top of black cardstock I'm going to apply white embossing powder and heat set it. Now I did go through my stash to find a cloud border die that I can place on top any border die that you have would work with this design and you can always draw your own cloud and cut it out with your scissors. I am going for a mini slimline card and the finished card is going to be 3 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter. I am going to assemble my card now, I am using some foam tape at the back just because I like dimension. And as I'm putting my card together, don't forget that this is part of a blog hop, make sure to visit my blog, there are lots of giveaways to be won. And if you hop along with us, you will be able to see all the new products in action. You can call this card done or if you want to take it a step further, you can add a rainbow. If you have a die, you can cut out all those uh, strips of color and place them there. Or you can use your paper trimmer and just cut out straight lines from colored cardstock. I am going uh, quicker since I want to mass produce this design, for that I'm using pattern paper. I'm just going to use this piece, this uh, pattern paper is by Waffle Flower by the way. And I'm going to cut out the part that I want to use. Now a little bit of a uh, life update, I'm still taking things slow, I don't post as much as I used to during the winter. I am taking things slow, remember I live in Greece and uh, the sea is just uh, 10 minutes away from home. Uh, we are planning to have a family vacation in the Greek islands, but I always make sure that my channel is not going to die during summer. You will be seeing at least one video per week. But I will be back to my regular posting at the end of August and this is when I will start posting again my art journal layouts. To finish off the card I'm adding some gems and these are tiny little gems that I got from a previous Simon's Stamp card kit. I am following the rainbow order with these gems so everything is matchy matchy here. And this is just a panel so all I need to do is to stick it on top of a white card base that's three and a quarter by six and a quarter. It fits nicely in mini slimline envelopes but you can also make your own, there is a die for that. I will link below to both those envelopes as well as the die. So that was the super quick video for today. Now go ahead and hop along with us, you will find lots of inspiration there. Don't forget to leave me a comment, to like the video and subscribe. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next week.